I thought. The great thing about it is you attracted the attention of Mark Mikowski there. Uh, let's not get into cracked <laughs> No, we'll get into cracked We'll say Marcus on this. One. Yes. But we did, we, we did the festival circuit, we won a bunch of awards, we got a little notoriety, and here we are. We're in Buffalo. We've been to LA, we've been to San Francisco, we've been all over the place. People seem to love this movie. It was something that we just put together as a goof. Wound up really, you know. Did you like the movie? Was it? So I guess we accomplished what we wanted to. We wanted to make a fun movie. People would laugh. And like I said, in the Bronx now, when people go to the Bronx Zoo, they say, where are the cracoons? So, <laughs> so I'm pretty lucky about that, you know, in our neighborhood where we're known as the crack crew. So, you know. <laughs> Couldn't you well, get real Italians in this one? <laughs> from this guy who makes hand puppets and we didn't tell him what we were using it for. Uh, we told him we were doing kitty stuff. So the guy gave us a whole bunch of these raccoons and then we gave them to our makeup guy and he screwed them up with the eyes and everything. But like I said, the book, and we threw them away by accident when I tried to do a sangria. And we threw all the raccoons away. So we had one more scene to do. So we had to go get one more raccoon. Just one more must have We're crazy. We said we need one more. And then we had to fix it up for the last scene because we got rid of all the raccoons with the garbage. So we some garbage stuff in the garage somewhere. Mark, I put it on Zillow Rodan together at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I showed him my script, 
Mark says, oh, it's pretty good. What would you do if you had more money, special effects, and, you know, I said, i make this movie here. We have four creatures in the new movie, um, CGI, yeah. robotics, 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 and electronics, it's stuff like everything, and the post is months now because they're doing CGI. Now, in the trailer we have here, we have two. <laughs> People are tired, right? <laughs> Mark, Mark, let's go to you now. Tell me? us, tell us why you wanted to get involved with the new grad group. Well, the reason I got involved with them was I, I'm a big advocate, as Greg knows. We did a movie called The Dying Love in about 1999. It was the first time the Bronx had a premiere in 20 years. So I'm very high on getting real production values in the Bronx with an industry in New York City that has seven billion dollars, the Bronx gets about eleven million of that. And the Bronx is dead, it's the only bird that doesn't care. And a lot of the uh, filmmakers I've met in the Bronx are always good at starting something. They never finish it. Jerry was the first one that actually had something. It wasn't that it was good, bad, or indifferent. They actually got something done. <laughs> so when he showed me the screenplay, and he, I said, if you ever decide to do this, I'll put my people on it, and we'll do a real movie with this, you know, get a budget. We'll put, you know, the hand puppet is good, but we'll make teeth, we'll make robotics, we'll CGI it. And uh, Jerry said, let's go, we got the budget, we did it. So I brought my partner in, Julio Garay, over there. He can wave his hand. Julio! We locked him in a room for about a month, building the ambiatronics and the puppets, and we let him out for ramen and <laughs> Does the kid make a comeback? Yeah, she's a fake now, but yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.